Hi everyone, happy Friday. I'm here in Maui and yesterday we had the one year remembrance over the fires and the lives that were lost in the fires here in Lahaina. It was a very touching and meaningful time as we recalled 102 lives that were lost and we did a prayer service there at the Hearts of Mercy and Compassion, 102 of them, one for each victim of the fire. It was really a, a kind of a surreal experience in many ways. Here I am standing in such a beautiful landscape. This island is so gorgeous. Those of you who have been here, you know how beautiful Maui is. The people are just so beautiful and joyous and full of life. And yet here we are remembering something that interrupted all of that. A tragedy and a crisis, a disaster that took not only 102 lives, but truly impacted so many more. Still today, the island is in recovery and still working to really kind of figure out what are those next steps for us. They're doing very well. There's great resiliency here and there's great hope. And we were able to be here at those Hearts of Mercy and Compassion and express that hope here with our partner at church, Emmanuel Lutheran Church here in Maui. And Pastor Eddie Hosh led the service. It was really a beautiful time. As I was sitting back and I was thinking about all of this, I really thought about how true it is for us every single day. This world really is a beautiful place. We have so many wonderful, beautiful things that the Lord has created, including one another. And yet in the midst of this, there can be deep pain and tragedy and hurt. And those two things kind of juxtaposition to one to the other really got me thinking about the hope. Where is that hope? That hope is in Jesus. And so I pray that if you're in that kind of a situation right now, where you're in a beautiful world that God has created, and yet at the same time, you're feeling deep pain, tragedy, or loss, I really pray for you. I pray that these words would mean as much to you as I know they meant to the ones who first heard it. Some 800 years prior to the arrival of Jesus, these are the words that God spoke to his people going through a difficult time. From Isaiah chapter 43, listen to these words. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And then jumping down just a few verses, we read these words. You are precious to me, you are honored, and I love you. What incredible words from our Savior. Who are we that we should be called the sons and daughters of God? To be that loved and that cherished and that cared for. So that even when we face death... We will not die. We will have eternal life. And that is the great confidence that we go into today and into this weekend with. I pray that those words encourage you. And would you join me as we take a moment to thank God for that? God, we can't thank you enough for your love. This world that you've created is so marvelous. It's so wonderful. It's so beautiful. It's so intricate. The workmanship of your hand is amazing. And God, we praise you for that. You are so wonderful. You are faithful. You are amazing. And we love you. We thank you for this world that you've given us. And yet the sin that is in this world and the brokenness also means tragedy. And it's something that you yourself identified, you told us about. And yet you give us these words today from Isaiah 43, to not be afraid. That even when we go through difficult times, you will be with us and you will sustain us and you will uphold us with your righteous right hand. And we know who that righteous right hand is. That's your son, Jesus. And so we thank you for saving us, for loving us, that even as we pass through that valley of death, Lord, we still, we will not see eternal death. Instead, Jesus, we will see you and we will live forever. Grant us that peace and that confidence as we continue to both praise you for the beauty of this world and to absolutely come to you in prayer for the difficulties that we face in the tragedies of life and brokenness that we experience in this world at the same time. 
thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. And thank you that we're not alone. Thank you that we have this opportunity to walk together with one another as we serve you and as we wait until that day that you've promised when you will come back again. Keep us faithful. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.